since we'll be using Wufu to create our online form, uh, the first order of business is to actually sign up for an account. Now, um, if you look at the pricing options, you see that for free, we get, um, well, we'll get what we need for this project. Uh, essentially, for free, you get one user, which means um, only one person could log into Wufu and edit the form. So uh, that's fine because this is just for us, but if you ever think about needing to use it for work or something, uh, you want to look at the plans that have more than one user because in that way you could kind of share uh, what you could give people usernames and passwords to edit the website or edit the form without necessarily giving them access to your entire account. That's why they even have uh, more than one user. That's what that means. Um, three forms means that you could create three different forms. Now for our exercise we just need one simple form that has uh, what three fields in it. It's actually just skipping right down here it says 10 fields um, our form just has three fields it has a name it has an email address and it has a comment section so um, again the free plan uh, takes care of what we need uh, here it says three reports now uh, Wufu has this ability for you to create sort of like a dashboard analytics page of how your form is doing you know how many entries you're getting and all sorts of interesting statistics if you want to do that um, and you get three of them uh, we're not going to be using those at all so uh, just a nice little add-on in case you wanted it and a <clears throat> hundred entries per month means um, visitors you have up to a hundred visitors that could actually submit that form uh, on your website so for free is once again good for this exercise uh, more than likely for any kind of business use you probably want to go into the ad hoc or bona fide plans and so on now I don't have any uh, financial agreement with these guys or anything of the sort but I have used them and another uh, service called Formstack a lot and anyway uh, they are great so long story short um, you know you need the free plan so go ahead and click the sign up for free and register the account and after you're done with all that you should be able to log in and start following me along on the back end over here and we're just gonna jump right into it uh, what was my password I think it's that there we go um, alright so just a quickie on what we're looking at over here once we do log in now I uh, if it's your first time logging in you're not gonna have anything in this section because this is my actual form that I have that uh, I've created for the web page prior to um, to shooting this video let's see let me click the view button and that way you guys see what I created so really simple name email address and comments um, that's all I needed and this is what we're, I'm gonna walk you through creating next um, anyway first thing you see is the forms and uh, this is what we doing the majority of our work. Uh, reports is that thing I mentioned to you. I kind of played around with the report, but it's really nothing. A report gives you sort of a statistical dashboard of uh, how your form is doing. Now, mind you, uh, what I created here was just something I, I was testing a form, so obviously you see some really lame activity. Um, but that's what the report is. We have some other options where you could actually create themes for your um, for your form but uh, the themes option isn't even going to matter to us because we're going to be embedding our form into our web page actually just to go back to forms after we create this thing here's essentially what we're going to do we're going to click on this code button and embed form code and we're going to take this code uh, probably this iframe code that works best and just embed it right into a web page and you see this iframe code over here is actually going to have that form and what we could do is actually put this form like you saw in the previous video embed it right inside of the web page that we created um, the point being is that any kind of theming that we may do to it, if you wanted to style it a certain way, well, it's not going to affect it because our CSS is going to override it. And actually, just by the very fact that we're embedding it with iframes, the form comes without any style, which makes sense because 
um, you want to control the way your form looks on your web page through your native CSS and not have to go into Wufu to style it similar to what you have on your web page. You know, you sort of like, if that was the case, you'd sort of be duplicating your effort, right? You're creating CSS on your website to style it, and then you're going into Wufu to style it. You, you know, you want to avoid that kind of stuff. Um, but you will have to go back into Wufu to actually edit the form, like if you wanted to add some fields to it, notifications, um, all that kind of good stuff. So, all right, so pretty much that should give you a good idea of the basic lay of the land and also accounts over here if you wanted to edit your account. Um, but moving forward, we're actually going to Next, we're going to really sink our teeth in and start creating a form.